Welcome friends, welcome back to Cocktails After Dark where I'm exploring different cocktails and spirits to try to find out what I like. Today I want to do a cocktail called Habitant and uh, it originates in the late 1940s in Quebec. And Habitant is, uh, is the French word or French Canadian word for the earliest settlers that came to Canada or came to New France from France. Um, it's also what Montrealers call their hockey team. The Montreal Canadiens, um, they call them the Habs or Habitants. And that sort of ties in with one of the whiskeys. I was given this whiskey, this Wayne Gretzky 99 Red Cask, um, at an event. And all of the whiskey people at the event said, oh, it's horrible. It's terrible stuff. So it's been sitting over there on the shelf. And I keep thinking, what am I going to do with it? So today I cracked it open. I'm going to give it a taste. And we're going to do this cocktail, Habitant, and we're going to use the Wayne Gretzky 99, and we're going to put it up against the Canadian Club Small Cask Sherry Cask. And the reason I chose the Sherry Cask is that this one, the Wayne Gretzky, is finished in red wine barrels at Wayne Gretzky's uh, winery in Niagara-on-the-Lake. So on the nose, it's very sweet. Um, and I'm not getting much else from it than just sweetness. Uh, let's see. It's sweet. It's hot. It is really hot. Um, so this is 40% alcohol by volume. So it tastes way hotter than it really is. And all I'm getting are sort of those sweet notes, heat from the alcohol, and some tannins from the, from the barrels. Red wine tannins, big red wine tannins, now that it's been in my mouth a little bit longer. So the cocktail, I think we'll play with, let's see. So the cocktail's whiskey, bitters, lemon juice, and a special ingredient that's still in the fridge. Now the recipe is fairly vague, Canadian whiskey, uh, lemon juice, maple syrup, and aromatic bitters. It doesn't say which aromatic bitters to use. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smell through. I've got three different kinds here. I've got Fees, Peychaud, and of course uh, Angostura. And let's compare. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the Fee Brothers. I think the Fee Brothers might work well with this. And we'll find out about the sherry cask when we get to it. So this is a shaken cocktail. Let's get right to it. Okay, so one and a half ounces of whiskey. And of course, the, uh, the amounts are all in the description below the video and at the end of the video. And a dash of the Fee Brothers bitters. I hate dashes. I think I'm going to move all of these into eyedroppers so that I can control it a little bit better because the tops on these are all different sizes and this one is particularly large. So there we go. Let's hope I can get it the same in the next one. Next up is some maple syrup. So I've got a little jug of maple syrup here. It doesn't take much, only about a half an ounce. Uh, let's see if we can do this without spilling. And the same amount of lemon juice. Now, ice the tin and shake. Okay, get rid of the ice. And we're going to double strain this. Okay, this looks really good. Looks really good. Smells really good too. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put the Wayne Gretzky behind it so that I know which is which. And now we'll move on and we'll do exactly the same with the sherry cask. Canadian Club.
Fee Brothers Bitters. Maple syrup. Lemon juice. Ice in the tin and shake. Okay, so here we have the late 40s Habitant cocktail. It is a Canadian whiskey cocktail, and I've made it with two separate whiskeys. Uh, I'm going to pour out a little bit of the sherry cask. I think it's only fair that I give this a sniff before I taste the cocktail. Um, okay, so it's been a while since I've had the CC sherry cask. Um, and I kind of remember that I wasn't terribly fond of it last time I had it, but it was good in mixed drinks. So. Yeah, that's what I remember. Um, so neither of these, neither of these are whiskeys that I would drink on their own. Slightly higher alcohol. This one's 41.3 and this one is 40. So let's try it in a cocktail. Um, I'm hoping they smooth out and they're a little bit better. Okay, right off the top, I get that Fee Brothers um, bitters. It's so aromatic. I think it's one of my favorite aromatic bitters. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um... I'll give it another go, just to wash that out of my mouth. And now I can really taste it, I think, this time. Yeah. Okay, so that, um, the Fee Brothers bitters brings a huge amount of flavor. Uh, the lemon brings a brightness. That uh, maple syrup is a bottom note. And the whiskey just sort of rounds it out nicely. It's, it's in there but it's not overpowering and I think it I don't want to say hides the flaws but it sort of hides the flaws to my palate that this whiskey has so let's try the sherry cask on the nose I'm getting pretty much the same thing there's not too much different between the smell of the two this one is darker but you know it is Canadian whiskey uh, they are allowed to put a little bit of caramel color in which they may or may not have done I don't know what they do to this one Okay, um, very comparable cocktails. Uh, you know, in a lot of these tests where I test two different spirits in the same cocktail, the cocktails can be completely different. These ones are surprisingly similar, even though the whiskeys are completely different in their flavor profiles. Um, neither of them are great whiskeys in my opinion my personal opinion. I wouldn't drink either of these on their own. In this cocktail though, I say I would like either of these, although I am leaning towards the Wayne Gretzky in this case. Uh, there's something about it. There's something about it that is just a more well-rounded flavor. Um, so I do like that cocktail. I don't think it's terribly balanced. As written, I don't think it's terribly balanced. I think the lemon is a little bit too much, uh, a little bit too strong. And if I had a dropper, I would probably cut back on the bitters a tad. Um, the hole in that Fee Brothers bitters bottle is big. Uh, and I think there's too much of that bitter flavor in there. 
but I think this is a good starting point. I think this is a cocktail that I would play with a little bit more and sort of fine tune it and get it to where I want it to be. I think a little bit of salt would be great, uh, to be quite honest. I think salt would add quite a bit to this. So maybe a little bit of the saline solution that I have. I think I'm gonna try this again. I think I'm gonna work on this one a little bit uh, in the background, just to tighten it up and bring all of the flavors together a little bit better. But that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm out here in my studio playing around with these cocktail recipes and different spirits, just to find out what I like and what I don't like and how I would change it and make it better. Um, if you're interested in this cocktail, give it a try and maybe make note of what you would change and then let me know down in the comments below. Uh, and also, if you've got either of these whiskeys in your cabinet, tell me what, uh, whether you like them or not and what you've done with them, what you like to mix them with. I think they're both mixing whiskeys, not uh, straight up or on the rocks whiskeys, for me, anyway. So, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.